Breaking news this morning. Firefighters are still at a Green Bay High School after an early morning fire. Pauline Lee is there at Preble High School with the latest. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Rachel. Yeah, crews have been here since about 1.40 this morning. Right now, this stretch of Dan's Avenue, it's still closed and will probably be, will remain closed for a good portion of the day as investigators do their work. I want to point you down to the opposite end of that parking lot over there. If you can see that tan shed with the kind of like the green trim, that is now the temporary home for all of the football equipment. In just the last hour, the team was able to get inside to get out all of their equipment, and now we're here with head coach Tim Larson. Tim, after hours of wondering if the fire damaged your equipment, how are you feeling now? Uh, it, it's always good to just get a little bit more information, a little bit more information. That's kind of where we're at right now. We don't have the whole story in terms of, you know, where we're at. But at this point, we were able to get some of the equipment out. So that was, uh, that was really relieving just to know that we were able to get into the, a very small chunk of the building into our locker room and bring things out, like you said, down to our, our shed. Um, we saw players just kind of streaming up this ginormous hill, bringing all of their equipment up. A any damage as, as far as you can see? I know it smelled a little bit like smoke. Sure, at this point, we just need you know people to come in and, and assess. We, we've contacted the, the people we purchased, like our sh helmet and shoulder pads, um, and they're gonna come and take a look at everything and see what needs to be professionally reconditioned or, or cleaned versus what we can do ourselves because uh, we just really want to make sure that the equipment that we hand back to the kids is, is safe because that's that's the most important thing. It's definitely a uh, team bonding event despite what happened this morning. It is. It was funny that the hill that we were running all the, the helmet and shoulder pads up, that's the hill that they're used to running up. That's actually a hill that we use for conditioning purposes. So it was just kind of, it was, it was great to see the, all the players and the coaches come together and uh, try to overcome this. And so now, did you get a chance to see any of what it looked like inside besides where your equipment was stored, damage-wise? No, the only part of the building that I saw was the locker room. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'll let you get back to your team here. Practice is still canceled for today, but at least the equipment is out. And Coach Larson also told me they were supposed to get new uniforms, but thankfully they arrived late. They're actually not here yet, so that's always a bright side to something that happened, such as a fire this morning. Uh, stick to fox11online.com for all of the latest information. Reporting live at Preble High School, Pauline Lee, Fox 11 News. All right. Thanks, Pauline. Thanks for the update, Pete.